Welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be testing the limits of these thrusters. How few of these thrusters do we need to reach a sonic boom? Since the space update came out, they have given us two new thrusters. We have the tiny little uh, space thruster here, and we have the gigantic rocket thruster here. And um, these are now pretty much the only two things I really haven't tried to break the sound barrier with. Before the space update, I actually prepared by trying to create the fewest number of large jet engines that I could break the sound barrier with. And this ended up being three for me. So I'm really curious if this one, which has uh, a thousand more power, how much easier it is going to be to get a sonic boom. Uh, I'm thinking we can probably do it with just one if it's really that much more powerful. The question is, does this map give us enough space? Because this thing takes a while to uh, ramp up in its speed. Uh, this thing, on the other hand, m make your guesses now. How many of these are we going to need to break the sound barrier? There is one thing to keep in mind. The aerodynamic profile of this is much smaller than the aerodynamic profile of this, but we still have to build the rest of the vehicle around these things as well. So I'm going to start off with a space thruster because I think this one's going to take a little bit more time. But actually, out of curiosity, let's let's do a quick, just very quick A-B test. I'm going to build a non-aerodynamically sound land vehicle, and I just want to see the difference between a single space thruster and a single uh, rocket engine. So the way I did it with the large thrusters was pretty much uh, building a very skinny vehicle that uses these slim wheels. I didn't even add any steering on it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the same principle. I'm gonna use this seat at the front as well. Actually, I'm gonna go with something different this time because I realized I ended up covering this cockpit completely with aerodynamic blocks because even though this cockpit is aerodynamic you can see with these arrows they are not as aerodynamic as a four by one wedge so you can see these arrows move a lot faster than these arrows so i'm just going to use the lightest seat pretty sure the go-kart seat is the way to go cart seat and let's see how fast this thing can go all right and we are off all right, we uh, cap out pretty quickly at 206 kilometers an hour. We need to reach 1,234-ish. So, but check out that acceleration. How long does it take to get there? And go. I don't know. I, I was counting in my head. So very, very precise counting. I counted like eight seconds to get there. So now let's slap a uh, rocket engine on this thing and <laughs> see how fast we can get. So we're at like 206 kilometers an hour there. Now with the rocket engine, I am going to have to make some adjustments and actually not that hard. All right, you think this'll work? Oh no, 100 kilograms. That is actually pretty heavy. All right, hold on. I'm going to have to modify the test here. All right, this is what I've ended up making. So we need a new, a new test for the small one, but now I know it can at least accommodate the large one. All right, retesting here. This thing looks kind of cool. And our max speed is... Now it's about 186. Seven. Seven. So now let's replace that with 1,800 power rocket engine. All right, here we go. Oh, this thing is so epic. So 187, and we just blew past that. Oh my goodness, this thing has no aerodynamics, remember? Uh-oh, we are unstable. Very unstable. All right, let me see if that changes. We're gonna try one more burn, and then we have to start optimizing things. All right, we're reaching like 400 easily. So you can clearly see the power, but we are just gonna have issues with what you just saw. But uh, first up, now that we've seen the difference in power and how they function, now let's actually separate into the two different tests. First test being the space thruster. Make your guess now how many space thrusters to reach the speed of sound. This is power 250, and it did take me three large jets to reach 800 power. I have seen it done with two though, but my best was three. So I don't know. I mean, aerodynamics are such a big deal. I'm going to say 10. I'm going to go with 10 space thrusters is my guess. What's your guess? All right. So now the only thing with these, these have a difficult attachment system. So they have a really nice profile, but I cannot just stack them like this. We're going to need a type of system where there is something bracing in between them. I got an idea. I can use wedges. I need something with a sideways attachment. See, now I can attach them like this. 
Yeah. Ooh, and then maybe. All right, hold on. Let me let me go a little bit back. I don't want to I don't want to go up too much yet. But I was thinking, where am I going to attach the wheels? What if I do this? Swap these out for a four by one connector. And then now I have wheels in the middle like that. That definitely helps with our profile. Okay, so how fast does this thing go without aerodynamics? Is it stable? Whoa, 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 what is this? What is this? So remember when I asked about is it stable? We just found out the answer to that. There's something weird happening here. What is this? <gasps> oh, I know what it is. It's the wheels. Okay. Um, the wheels are too close to the thrusters and that is causing what we just saw. We're not gonna use the flat connectors at all. It's gonna be, I think, more aerodynamically efficient, not weight efficient, but aerodynamics trump weight here. Uh, it's gonna be more efficient just to have a straight line going from the back of these wheels all the way to wherever I'm setting up the next set of wheels, which I can set up right here. So now you can see there's an aerodynamic arrow right here, but then there is not one on the back wheels because it that space gets filled with all these blocks. So this, this should be stable, I hope. With one thruster, we got up to 187. This one's at 363. That's actually pretty good. This isn't even, I haven't even done aerodynamics yet and we're only using three of these thrusters. All right, now, now we have to aerodynamicize this thing. All right, so what I learned from the last time is that the direction of the aerodynamics makes a big difference. So if you have them facing down or up, it is gonna provide downforce or up force way more than you would expect, despite them not actually being spoilers. So I'm just gonna make it easy on myself and have them go mostly sideways. So that way we have no up or down force. They're all gonna just be canceling out middle ways. Now we also want the wheels to be covered as much as possible. Uh, because even this top thing right here, not as good as having a wedge in front of it. And we did find out before that having a wedge on the bottom for the large jet engines did help a lot. But I don't know if it's going to be... I'm going to have it without it for now. We're going to see if it makes a difference later. And then I definitely want the tops of these wheels to be covered as well. Just like that. And aerodynamically, we are very sound. All right. So we were at 300 and what? 360 something? This is going to be way different, I bet. As long as we can stay stable. Here we go. Look at my character there. Good thing my character doesn't have aerodynamics. All right. We already blew past... Blew past the 300s. We're in the 600s. We're over halfway there. We're in the 700s. 10 may have been a little much for my guess. I don't think we're going to need 10. I just, I think I've unlocked aerodynamics in trail makers. I don't know. We might need... Who knows? Who knows what the diminishing return is going to be yet? I've only gone from 1 to 3, and I've just started aer adding aerodynamics. But 810 kilometers an hour on only 3? Okay. So now, all I'm going to do is cover the bottom wheels. And you know what? Actually, instead of having this, I think it'll be even more efficient to just have this. So now we do not have that extra arrow back here. And then as far as this one down here, I'm going to try. You know what? I don't know if this is going to work. Let me just try this. Let me just try this and see if it's better or worse. It looks like it's going to be way worse, like we're going to drag across the ground, but doesn't feel like it. We were at 810. Now let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What? What? This is insanity. This is, ex this is like, all expectations have just been broken. Like, I almost broke the sound barrier with three. Three of these things versus the three large jet engines. Do I, do I need wheels? Are these wheels doing anything let me just see do i not need wheels hold on have the wheels been a scam this whole time don't even don't even tell me this is faster don't even tell me that this is gonna be faster no way no way no is are we gonna break the sound barrier right now are we go are we gonna This makes no sense. Wheels are a scam. Wheels are a scam. I cannot believe this. Can I do this with two? All right, everybody was wrong. Everybody was wrong. There's not a single person knew that this was gonna be three or less thrusters. If I do this with two, my large jet engine thing is like, 
See, the, the thing, you know why? It's because the, these thrusters are so small compared to the large jet engines. Look how close we are with just two. Hold on. Hold on. I might be able to do it with two. I might be able to do it with two. Okay, I'm gonna re I'm gonna delete this seat. With that seat, I'm also deleting this bottom portion here. So here's my aerodynamic profile right now. I have one, two, three, four layers right there. Now I'm gonna bring in this uh, cockpit, this this cockpit here, because look at this, this one. I can delete that. I have 25% less resistance, and I I had I was almost at the sound barrier. This might be it. This might be it with two space thrusters. Please, if I can get this with two space thrusters. Now, like, th this just breaks the logic of everything that I've I've worked for in the past. 1100. <laughs> We're still going. We're still going. We're so close. It's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. it it's going to do it. Is it going to do it? Is it going to... Is it going to do it? Is it going to do it? It's going to do it. It's going to do it. It's going to do it. I, it's going to do it. We were, we were like two kilometers away. Two kilometers an hour away. I swear we were two kilometers an hour away and we hit the wall. If I can not die at the wall, like, and respawn. All right, here we go. Here we go. Just don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we, no, no, no. I'm hopping out because now we're going back in this direction. Rather than from the middle, we're starting from the end. I can't believe how close we get. We get like right there and then the wall, then the wall destroys it. Come on, 1230. <gasps> Oh, oh, wait, why? Why not? There it is. 1237, I guess. I thought it was 1234. So we've done it with two, two of the, the space thrusters. Mind blown. Self mind blown. Figuring out that wheels are unnecessary was like such a huge part of this. Like now here, before we get onto the rocket engine here, I gotta, I have to find out. This was my previous design for minimum number of space thrusters. Now, I don't need I don't need any of this stuff. I don't need any of this. I don't need any of that. We've just saved so many aerodynamics. We still might need this weight block. I love the look of this thing, by the way. We should we should be able to get a two large jet engine sonic boom. Oh my goodness, this this isn't gonna happen. These results are very different. Wow. Okay. There's something different about the space thrusters. It's the profile. It is the wind profile. I thought I just I thought I just found the ultimate hack to making everything easily a sonic boom. But no, the I think there's a chance that the space thrusters I might need less space thrusters than I'm gonna need a rocket engine. Every single time I do a Sonic Boom video, I think it's gonna be like super boring and straightforward. It's like, uh, oh, add thrusters, make Sonic Boom. But I end up learning so many things I did not expect. Okay, so we found, wait a minute. I was gonna say we found the uh, the minimum for this, but I can't in, on, in good conscience say we found the minimum if I never tried one. So here we go. <laughs> I know it's not gonna happen but I have to try, because what if? This is literally, there's nothing smaller than this. Like, I don't think I could build anything different. <laughs> All right, yeah, this is definitely not gonna do it. We're we're getting 810, 815, 820, you know, maybe up to 830 if we have the full map. I think we, I think we actually started at the end of the wall, didn't we? All right, around 830 with one. Safe to say, I don't think any aerodynamic improvement to this design is really gonna make one uh, be able to break the sound barrier. So I'm going to say confidently that two is the minimum for space thrusters. So now if I just slap a rocket engine onto this thing, what happens? Okay, you ready? Here we go. Oh my God. Do you see how long that took to start to overcome friction? All right. Am I going to stay straight? This is looking good. Am I gonna break the sound barrier just like this? No, it's not gonna happen. I have too many aerodynamic issues right now. So yeah, this is this is what makes the space thruster so unique, is its aerodynamic profile is so small. So you can just squeeze it in a needle. But this thing is very big, so you actually have to like build your vehicle out so you have so much air to push through. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it with one. I'm gonna try. But I don't know. Now that I don't need wheels, this makes this so much simpler. Okay, so all I gotta do, look at all these arrows. See, this is the problem. This right here is the problem. All of these arrows have to be countered. 
So I need to put these, these. This is a problem. All right, so I need to go down, up, up, down. That's the only way I can, I can connect all the attachments. And now, oh, this looks pretty cool too. This actually does look pretty cool. I like that. It's like it made a little window for the windshield. All right, I think this is the perfect aerodynamic optimization for the rocket engine. Like, I don't know, I don't know what you could do that's better, but let's see if I can actually break the sound barrier with this thing. A single rocket engine. This would be, I think, the fewest thrust sources. Oh boy, we are going, we got that. This is no problem. That was the easiest thing. I questioned whether it was gonna be one or two. It was easily one. And yet somehow I couldn't do, I couldn't do less than three jet, uh, large jets. Like if I take a large jet, where do I hide it? Look at the box on this thing. That is why it has a whole extra thing. And see, this is the annoying part with these jet engines. I can't use a flat connector to get over here. Okay, hold on. All right, I'm gonna see if these flat connectors really do have no air resistance. So this is the way I was able to link it down to this one jet engine, but in contrast to the rocket engine, this does have a whole extra layer of wedges in order to attach this here and to uh, cover this hitbox. So there is more resistance with this thing. Let's see what happens. All right, this does not have the power. This really, it's at 800. This really does not have the power. So if I do another one. Okay, it took me a bit because I knew I seen the video where someone did it with two jet engines and I could not remember what the video was named <laughs> or the person's name, uh, but it was BitBeats and they broke the sound barrier with two jet engines and I'm drawing a little bit of inspiration with the uh, connecting points here. And they actually used wheels, but look at this crazy design. They have the seat on the back like this. But I want to see if what I'm currently working with, with no wheels, if that can do it with two jet engines using a similar uh, connection system here. So good job on this one, BitBeats, for doing it first with uh, two large jets. All right, so now let's see if this thing is capable of achieving the same feat. All right, here we go. We're going pretty, we're, we're accelerating pretty fast. Oh, it's slowing down. Oh, oh, it's close. It is... It is close. I don't know if it's going to do it. It doesn't, it does not look like it's going to do it. Huh. The no wheel version just, I guess, is worse. Do we have any inefficiencies here? All right. Well, my ideas didn't work for the large jets, but we have our answers now for the space thrusters and the rocket engine, the new thrust sources, two space thrusters, apparently, and one rocket engine, which I kind of thought that was my hope for the rocket engine, but it was, it, it was that it was that powerful that you could do it with just one. And these designs, I mean, the space one looks kind of derpy, but this one actually looks like it, it kind of is it's a little bit cool, has a little bit of uh, aesthetic to it. So let me know, were your estimates correct? I didn't actually say my guess for the rocket engine, but I kind of knew in my heart that we only needed one, but I was wildly wrong. For the uh for the space thrusters so let me know what your guess is how, how off or how correct were your guesses let me know down in the comments below and uh let me know what i should like to see as far as experiments goes with the latest updates i'll be looking in the comments for those if you guys enjoyed this video you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen hope this video has earned your subscription anyway this has been scrapman and i'll see you next time bye